Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of Japanese folklore as we unveil the secrets behind the Gasha Dukuro, the mysterious bone giants that roam the night. This mythical creature, with a thirst for blood and revenge, has been a fearsome presence in Japanese popular culture for centuries. Legend has it that the Gasha Dukuro are the vengeful spirits of those who died from starvation or in the battlefield. These mythical creatures are said to be formed from the bones of those who were denied a proper burial. The Gasha Dukuro stands at an astonishing height of 15 times taller than the average human. This is Monsters of Folklore. And if you've heard of this creature, and if you somehow ran into this thing, I feel sorry for you. Their skeleton bodies emit an eerie glow, as if they carry the weight of all the restless souls they represent. These bone giants are known to haunt secluded areas, especially during the darkest hours of the night. In search of revenge and justice for those dishonored souls, the spirit roams around the countryside. When it moves, it produces sounds that apparently sound like it's saying gachi gachi. Its goal is to cut off the heads of solitary travelers to drink their blood. Nevertheless, people can become aware of its presence in advance by feeling a buzzing sensation in their ears. Travelers who dare to cross their path are met with a bone-chilling wind as the Gasha Dukuro reaches out with its massive arms, ready to capture any unfortunate soul. But why do they appear? Some believe that the Gasha Dukuro manifests as a warning to the living, a reminder of the consequences of neglecting the spirits of the deceased. In Japanese folklore, it is believed that the only way to destroy the Gashi Dukuro is by reciting prayers or by offering them proper burial rites. Yet these powerful creatures are not easily defeated, as their bones are said to be as hard as steel. The Gasha Dukuro remains a mysterious and fearsome presence in Japanese folklore. They serve as a reminder of the importance of respecting the dead and honoring the spirits that linger among us. Now thank you for joining me on this journey to uncover the secrets the Gasha Dukuro. I hope that you've enjoyed this glimpse in the Japanese folklore. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me your take on this beast, give me your comments. Have you somehow ran into one or think you have? If you have, let me know. But as always, I will see you later.